In my previous video, I made this rubber band powered helicopter. And in this video, I'll explain how it works and what failed on the first version. This helicopter gets all of its power from these rubber bands. And why do I need so much rubber bands? Is because the helicopter blades are too big for one rubber band to move it. So I need to have multiple rubber bands so they work as a team to move these blades fast enough for the helicopter to take off. But you may be wondering, how does the rubber band spin the blades? How does that happen is when you spin the blades the opposite direction, the rubber band will wind up. And when you wind it up enough, the rubber bands will want to untangle. And when they untangle, they move the blades. But what is so special on the blades that it makes it to take off and not just spin around? The answer to that is in the shape of the blades. So if you look on the blade from here, the blades look like this. The way this works is when the blade cuts through the air this way, the air on top gets stretched out so the pressure is lower on top and the pressure on the bottom is higher and so the blade generates lift. But that's not enough to lift a helicopter so the blade is tilted this way a little bit then it pushes the air downwards and that's how it gets lift to fly. But something needs to stabilize the helicopter so it doesn't crash. That's why I have the fly bar. The fly bar reacts in a certain way when the, the helicopter is tilted to straighten it out. And this is how it looks. Now it's time to explain why do I need the rear propeller and how does it work. We need a rear propeller is because when the blades spin, the helicopter body wants to spin in the opposite direction. And if I wouldn't have the rear propeller, this is what would happen. So if I wouldn't have the rear propeller, the helicopter would just spin in circles, like you saw. And the way it's powered by the same rubber band is I have this belt over here that is connected from this wheel to this wheel. And this wheel is smaller because I need this blade to move faster than these big ones. And the way it moves it is the same as on these blades. It has this tilt. Control the tail. Okay, what failed on this design is the fly bar, the stabilization. It didn't work. And that's why it did these weird movements because it couldn't control itself. Because the stabilization fly bar, it didn't work. And that's what failed on this design. 